Tom Jurich, uh, when he became athletic director, uh, I believe that the second hire he made was Pam Buston. John L. Smith was his first. And Pam took a program over, uh, had not won a game. By, that, by this time, they were competing in the Mid-American Conference. Uh, so they had a conference home, which we didn't have for a number of years. We were an independent early on. And once Tom came in and tried to make Title IX a priority, uh, that's when you could really see a change. The women were given a locker room at the KFAC. They shared uh, that facility with, I believe, golf and rowing. And they had a really nice locker room, actually, but they bust over to Traeger Field. But in the early years when Pam was there, they actually played in Old Cardinal Stadium on that turf. And then they moved over to uh, Traeger once it was finished. The, the players were just as devoted back then as they are today. But some of the differences, uh, the main, biggest difference I see is the field itself. Uh, we had a grass field and it was very rough and it was hard to get, keep it uh, cut because the, the uh, groundskeeping department didn't really have anything to do with the athletic department. They just had their own schedule and they didn't really seem to know or be concerned that if it was game day, you know, you need to cut the night before real short and uh, get it, you know, uh, taped down, chalked down. The speed's different because you were playing on turf Although it's dependable, the, the line and the ball is going to transfer. Um, what's not is the speed. So I think that, that uh, us, we had the ability to play at the old Cardinal Stadium, and we played about half of our games prior to a football game. So that was really a cool thing for us. Is Number one, we had a pretty decent crowd out there, and it kind of amped everybody up because it was prior to a football game. And then afterwards, we would just shower and come back and do a little tailgating. And the whole field hockey team would go up and into the uh, student section and we'd cheer for the football teams. We used to have a rule called offsides, like they have in soccer, where your uh, person who was in offense couldn't go any further offensively uh, the to what, than the last the defensive player. So that really hurt, and I think when they made that change, it was a big help because it was, it was very low scoring, and then it has opportunity for people to play up closer and, and get passes and get higher scoring games, make it more exciting for the fans. We yeah. were only allowed two substitutes a game, and you kind of had to save one of them in case somebody got hurt. You know, it got walloped with a ball or tripped and turned an ankle or got hit with a stick or whatever. And once you left the game, you could not come re-enter. So, two subs a game, and so that's another thing with your roster, you weren't able to freely sub and rest people. Um, basically, who you started was who you were gonna finish with, which really, talking about conditioning, you had to be pretty in shape to be, be able to hang for 70 minutes. And that was hard on morale of the players, too, because right. they knew only 12 people would be in at most, and then you always had to save that one in reserve, so that was hard to Right. You know, have 22, 24 players on your team and only 12 right. would get to play. I'd like to thank all of our former players for coming today. I know you made a lot of you made sacrifices to travel here, and we're really excited to have you. I love you all, and please come up and say hi to us after the game. And for a lot of my former teammates and, and other alumni that I've met at alumni functions, uh, welcome back to campus, and uh, don't forget we we're Cardinals forever, so we need to keep cheering on uh, our Cardinals as we go through the years. And I would like to say uh, to the current team, who I follow um, extensively and have for quite a while now, uh, this will be you one day. And I hope that you will uh, listen to some of the stories today, uh, get to know some of the people that are here, and uh, carry on that tradition because everything that came before you was uh, helping build for, for you all to have the program you have now. And we are extremely proud and extremely happy at what you have and will accomplish in the future. Go, Go Cards! Cards!